What is up guys, Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour. Today, we are going to be going over the safety vault. It is the first vault that you should probably learn while starting vault in parkour or free run. If you're just getting started, welcome. This is an incredible lifestyle and sport. I am super passionate about it. I have tons of tutorials online, so make sure you check those out after this one. Let's get started. Now, like I said, this is a very, very simple vault to learn. The very first thing you need to know is which hand you're gonna to wanna to put down. We all sort of have a predominant hand, but I do suggest training this on both sides. Okay, so how to figure out which hand you wanna use? Well, if you know how to cartwheel, or even if you have a really bad cartwheel, your first cartwheel hand, which is my left, is actually going to be the hand that you're gonna use. So now that you know your hand, we're gonna go in numbers. My left hand is the one I use, so that's gonna be number one. One. The leg directly across from that hand, my outside leg, is gonna be number two. Okay. From there, our inside leg is actually gonna be number three. Now, keeping those numbers in mind, all we have to do is come up to the object and place them one and two on the object first, and then pass three through. So it should look like this. One, two, stretch it all the way out. Don't bring it nice and tight, because that's never gonna allow you to get in. You're gonna bring it out, and then three, step straight through. So again, one, two, three. And that's all you need to do in the beginning. Just step up to it, figure that out in your mind. Because if you go too fast too soon, some people have trouble and they end up messing it up and trying to step their foot in over. So you don't want to do that, all right? After you master that, you start working through real slow and you can get over it back and forth. Then we're going to start to bring in some speed. Now with the speed, keep in mind your right leg, the outside leg that's touching the object, doesn't necessarily have to push off of it that much. As you start to get more speed, it's more like a safety touch. You're just sort of tapping it down and allowing yourself to know where it is. So that would look like this. Now the run up for this trick is not a punch. You cannot come in and punch off of both feet to try to get up. It makes it a lot harder to get through. It slows it down and too jagged. This is a flow trick, so we want to move into a split step. Very easy one to go split step because again, we're just stepping up. We're coming up, one, reaching, foot's going out. So another very common mistake is to actually try to use two hands on this. I would say that it is possible, but if you look when I'm doing two hands, it's actually my second hand is gonna block my leg coming through, right? So make sure that your arm stays up, it'll open your chest and allow you to pass through the object way easier. Now when coming out of this trick, it's pretty simple. The only thing you need to know, just like all our other vaults that we're going to be learning, is as we come over this object, we actually want to go up and over it. Um, the safety vault, we are putting a little bit more pressure onto the object itself because we're going slower. But as our speed increases and we're trying to get past it, keep in mind that your, your movement is up and over like a rainbow, not down into it. All right? So when we are trying to come down and off of it, we're taking our foot and our hand and we're pushing ourselves forward by pushing the object behind us, all right? At the same time that I'm doing that, I'm reaching my number three, the leg that's coming through, out and down to the floor. But it's important to know that I actually want to land my chest above or in front of my foot so that I can help my momentum continue forward. Because you see, if my foot is in front, of my body and I land into it, now all my momentum is getting jammed into the ground and stopped in my place and I have to do extra work to get past it, okay? So 
so that's it. That was your safety vault tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, good luck. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Check out the rest of the tutorials and um, let me know if they help. Share if they do and uh, please subscribe. Check you later. Oh yeah, La Flair Parkour bandanas? What? Link in the description. Peace. Thanks for watching guys. Now, if you want to check out the rest of the tutorials, feel free to click that box. And if you haven't seen those parkour spots videos, certainly worth checking out. And last but not least, I just put up my new parkour reel called Fighting Gravity. I think it's sick and I think you will too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.